It's all or nothing, Mama. Hello, welcome back to Live in La Vida Tagalog. Today we decided to come out to Toto's Grill, which is a little spot out here in National City in San Diego. And they've actually got all Filipino street foods. Um, and so what's fun about it is that when you go in, they have all the food sort of laid out like a buffet style and you pick your different skewers that you want to um, eat. And you can either have them cook it for you inside or outside here they actually have um, little grills already set up so you can grill your own food so we got a bunch of different little options I'm gonna try some new foods today that I've never had before um, but first we got to grill it so come on over Lobster balls. Never tried that. We got quick quick. Also never tried that. We got chumai. We've had that. I already forgot what it's called. Chicken intestine. Isao. I know it sounds like isao. Chicken intestine. We got fish balls. Chicken barbecue. Chikyum. And I forget what these are, but they're little sesame balls and I think there's red bean inside. Oh, and drinks. Calamansi. Mango. Mango for Kuya. And then we got sauce. The vinegar sauce. It's called suka. This one looks like it is a soy sauce mix. This one, I think it might be for the barbecue. Try lots of sauces. Oh, you have to try this, Mommy. It's so refreshing. The mango? Yeah. Mm. So one of the things that makes this place really interesting to me is that they have the grills outside and you can grill your own food, which is fun. It's a little bit like a Korean barbecue place, um, but with Filipino street foods. Yeah. All right, Kuya, I'm ready to try the isao. Dip it in the salt, suka. And what I learned from watching some Filipino street food videos is that you kind of have to let it sit in here for a minute so it can soak up that vinegar. So here we go. It's all or nothing, mama. Mm hmm it is crunchy. Very chewy. Very chewy. A little bit rubbery. I can taste something on the inside, so I don't know. I don't know what that is because it is intestine. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a chalky texture. I think it needed to soak a little bit longer in the vinegar, but I mean, not bad. I don't know if I need it again. Mine tastes like uncooked. Mine feels like uncooked pasta. And I think there's some sort of sauce inside this. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm just trying to pretend it's, it's like a noodle. Is that intestine? Yes, it is. It's great. some sort of sauce inside. Chewy. Oh, I just taste all the vinegar. It tastes a little like liver. No, I don't like liver. <laughs> Next, Kuya wants fish balls. Mommy wants quick, quick, quick quack. Oh no! The fish ball? Is, it feels bigger in my mouth <laughs> than the one in Seafood City. It has like the texture of that, but it's easier to chew. I decided to soak my quick, quick into the suka. Yeah, what's quick, quick? I forgot. Is it a duck egg? Nope. This is not a chicken egg. It's quail. Quick, quick is quail egg? Or so they tell me. Your mom has misadvised you before. Your <laughs> father has misadvised you. Okay. I'm guessing it's the batter or the breading. That was more of what I tasted. Um, there was also something else in there. I don't know, I didn't have much flavor there. But there was something tangible inside. I don't know what it is. It's hard boiled. Might be a baby quail. <laughs> mm hmm. Something crispy. There's like a thick sauce in it. Mm. And that's what makes it harder to chew. 
Kikyum. I'm gonna do it in the soy sauce dip. Kikyum is, it's like fish, but like ground up fish flakes, or not fish flakes, but ground up fish and then oh. vegetables of some nope, sort. Nope, kind of nope. like fish cake. Like all smashed together? Yeah. Is this your favorite? <laughs> yeah. That one I, I like. Kind of reminds me of a crab cake. Right? But mm -hmm. if you have it has that. It's, really it's so good. small, but it has a thick Ooh. texture. Sorry, I double dip. Now it tastes a little fishy. Mm -hmm. And so after you chew it for a little bit, then you get the fishiness happening. I like it I better than it comes it. Since we, it's kind of burnt, I get a crispiness from it. Mm -hmm. You got a kind of burnt one? Mm -hmm. The worst way to get it. Oh, oh good. did I get it? Oh, God. Soy sauce. It's the best. It's really good. Perfectly charred. But it is chewy, it just tastes like a cake. What's next? Lobster bar. Do you want a sauce? No. You're just putting your mouth all over everybody else's lobster bowl. It tastes like a fish bowl. Uh, lobster bowl. Mm -hmm. It is fishy. Very fishy. Um, it really breaks apart super easily in your mouth. Maybe. Yeah, it just tastes like a fish bowl. Yeah. Underwhelming. We'll see the next time we take a trip to the Philippines what these actually taste like. Real sour. Mm -hmm. huh? You really don't get a sour taste. I don't get sour. I get sour patch kid um, green. Oh, that is so refreshing. It tastes like um, peach nectar and mango juice mixed together. It's very creamy. Oh. This tastes like something familiar. I can get the calamansi, but with the tip of some flat. Okay. Uh, show mine? Mm, sure. I wonder what's inside. Okay, ready. I think it's pork. There's some carrots in there. I actually like that. Grilled. That's kind of nice. To cook yeah. it and a then grill it. It's a bit crispy since we grilled it. Mm -hmm. That one was yummy. Mm, that's delicious. Everything that we just ate right now, do you remember having any of these when we went on our trips overseas? Like, I think we went to that night market in Thailand. Had intestine there, you know what I mean? had the weird sauce. Was it not as chewy? Mm. No, it's not chewy. It may have been the cook. Maybe it was grill, mommy. Maybe the grill I didn't grill it long enough. Maybe I needed to cook it longer so it was less chewy. Maybe next time. Yeah. All right, I want to have the dessert. Mm. I forget what these are called, but I think it's a rice ball. And I think there might be red bean inside and then it's rolled in sesame seed. No, I don't see any red bean. Oh, there it is. Yep. Oh, this is basically mochi. Mm-hmm. Pretty much like this, so that's really good. Save me a bite. I like these. Toasted sesame seeds. So good. And the sesame seeds give it a bit of a crunch, too. Mm -hmm. I think those sesame seeds are what does it for that thing. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. A good combo with the red bean because it's not too sweet and then the sesame seeds are a little bit toasted. Mm, yeah. It comes out really tasty. Careful. That looks mangly. Oh. <laughs> you don't like it? Oh. Well, right. Sesame ball. Mm -hmm. These are red bean inside. Mm -hmm. mm, my favorite. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, hey there. Chicken. Oh. What do you think? Kinda tastes familiar. Tastes and this familiar. looks familiar. Like I've had it before. No, no, no. It was no, no, very no. fishy. Uh, you had a sauce explosion? Yes. Alright, so that was our time over here at Toto's Grill. It was short, but sweet. Um, pretty delicious food, a little different, not something that I'm used to. I think I'd rather try like Filipino street food straight from the Philippines, like while we're there. So we'll have to make a trip sometime soon. Until then, Ingat, thank you so much for watching. Salamat. Ingat. 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 One, two, late. Did you see that? I just put my mouth on the lid. <laughs> Rowan's favorite. Hold it right here. How do you do it? Oui.